Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is my next new project, reading through Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days. And um, I was looking for a good reading plan, and I found this one because I really wanted to go through Psalms and Proverbs again. So I found this one. This one's really cool because it adds... Uh, Proverbs. So you have you're reading Psalms and Proverbs every day, not just going through Psalms one by one and then to Proverbs. It integrates one proverb every day, and then every day has obviously a lot more Psalms. So I'll just show you what the plan is, and um, I'll also put links in the description if you guys are interested in uh, reading along with me. Or starting your own plan. This site is very good. It's the U version, my.bible.com. I'll put a link down in the description, but it's basically the app is called U version. You can get it on your phone or on desktop uh, or I'm sure on tablets. And anyway, you can create a profile for free and you can track your plans and find plans and watch, you know, different videos and stuff. It's a very nice app. And it's completely free. There's no ads in it, which is amazing. Most free phone apps have ads, but this one does not. It's pretty nice. So anyway, uh, you, if you go to the plans uh, section, you can type in the search bar, whatever you want. And uh, whatever kind of plan you're looking for. There's so many, so many. So this one is Psalms and Proverbs 31 Days. And it says here... Day 1, Psalm 1, we'll read all of Psalm 1, then it, we go down, read Psalm 31, then 61, then 91, then 121, and then one Proverbs 1. It's very interesting. And then on day 2, for example, it's Psalm 2, Psalm 32, Psalm 62, Psalm 92, Psalm 122, uh, and then Proverbs 22. Really cool plan. Oh. Um, I might have to redo this video uh, just in case my power goes out or I have to go um, get in the basement because right now we're having a tornado warning. Uh, possible tornado and it's really ugly out and thundering and possibly lose power but if I do redo the video, you guys won't even know. So, <laughs> Alright, so Psalms 1. And um, our, I, you could read the Bible through this app. Uh, but I decided to go back to my Blue Letter Bible because I really love BlueLetterBible.com. And um, yeah, we're going to uh, bump that back. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I like Blue Letter Bible. I have them all, you know, tabbed already, ready to go. So here we are in Psalm one, and this reading plan. I'm going to be doing KJV. I'm going back to KJV. So let's all go to Psalms one, and let's start. So. I'm a little distracted because of all the stuff that's going on right now. Very ugly out, so. Pray the Lord will, will uh, protect and keep us all, wherever we're at in the world, whatever kind of weather. I you know, times like this, I get a little bit anxiety, but then I start to realize and remember that God is in control. You know, if it's His will, then... He will protect protect us if not maybe it's our time to go but either way if we're secure in Christ we have nothing to fear because heaven will be an immensely better place so we literally have nothing to fear if we're secure in Christ and trust in the blood of Jesus Christ and um, trust and have faith in the gospel which is 1st Corinthians 15 1 through 4 so anyway guys Let's start Psalms 1. First one. 
Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the street seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Now we go to Psalm 31. <laughs> I know it's kind of skipping around, but I think I like this layout. Psalm 31, verse 1. To the chief musician, Psalm of David, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for a house of defense to save me. Wow, this verse is very relevant for right now in my situation. Whew, but we must do this. We must be confident and have trust. Right? Have trust. We can't be wavering. I know that the Lord will watch over me, watch over us, and take care of us. Psalms 31 3. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Oh, I love that. I love Psalms so much. Thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Amen to that. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit, thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul and adversaries, adversities. Has not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mine. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret place, the secret of thy presence, from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in the pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful, and the plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. And what an amazing verse. Psalm thirty one twenty four. What an amazing verse. Give good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you that hope in the Lord. Amen to that. Amen to that. Next Psalms sixty one verse one. To the chief musician upon Negina, a psalm of David. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. 
I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. Selah. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So I will sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. That. Psalm 61. Next up we have Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth, oh I like this one. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Love that verse. It's so comforting. That, uh, let me just say, this is the whole reason why I wanted to do a Psalms and Proverbs project because it's so comforting, it's so hopeful, it's so encouraging, it's um, it's just amazing. It's amazing what God does through the Word. So, I just wanted to really wanted to read through Psalms and Proverbs again uh, before possibly doing another. Uh, reading the Bible project and I haven't decided how long I want to do it I'm thinking um, less than six months maybe even three months uh, we know now it's possible to do the Bible or the New Testament in one month so if we could do the New Testament in one month we could possibly do the Old Testament in two months uh, I have seen three month reading plans for the entire Bible it's possible people have done it but uh, I feel like it might be We'll see, but it might be too much reading. Not because, you know, I would get tired of reading per se. It's just a lot to take in, you know, kind of overwhelm your brain with information. And I think it's better to spread it out a little bit more so you can actually understand. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, sorry. Sidetracked. Side note. Psalm 91 2. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God and Him will I trust another amazing one I love that one surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Amen to that one, right? I'm actually reading this and there's a terrible storm going on I might lose power any second and um, there might be a tornado so I'm trusting the Lord that he'll uh, protect us if it's my time it's my time but uh, hopefully and I'm praying that everything will be all right because if there is I'm just worried I don't want to be worried but I'm worried that I won't be able to get my cat because he likes to hide when it's thundering out um, and if there's lots of noise from me you on know, tornado obviously it'll be really hard to get get him out from underneath my bed pretty much impossible because he goes all the way to the back um, and my bed's up against two walls so it's not like I can go on either side of the bed and try to get him anyway I'm sorry getting sidetracked I'm just they want to be able to get my cat if something happens. Psalm 91, 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou sh dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Ah. Psalm 121, verse 1. Song of Degrees 
I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, and whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Finally, Proverbs 1. Verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge, and discretion. A wise man will hear, and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation of the wise and their dark sayings, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us look privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole, and as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our house, houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay in wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of every one that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets, she crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity, and the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out mine hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely shall be quiet from fear of evil and amen to that last verse right guys we need to hearken to the lord yahweh we shall dwell safely if we trust in him and have faith in him so amen to that all right guys that's it that's the reading plan um i really like it i really like this format and uh we're going to be doing this 31 day psalm of proverbs reading project and it's really nice. Again, I'll put links in for all the tools I used. Uh, Blue Letter Bible is one of my favorite Bible sites. You can also read the Bible on this app. It's called U Version if you download it from the App Store, or you can go to my.bible.com uh, for the desktop version. And um, I'll put links in the description. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, new reading project. And I thank you so much for being here with me. And for listening and watching, I hope you all have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Trust in him. Have faith in him. And wait upon him. And you'll never, ever be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow with more Psalms and Proverb. Thank you so much. And take care.